literally sitting here hurting and wondering why you won't come to me. You know I've been like begging you to come. You know I've been literally just like upset, hurt, damaged over you and like you just ignore all that and then you're like, oh no, the, yeah, the reason why I don't do that is because you gotta miss it. That's gaslighting. So like you don't wanna talk to me when I called you yesterday and I called you 50 million times and you finally answered because like you're the whatever guy you're with the price phone keep blowing up you know what you look at me and say nigga stop talking to me i'm going on you know when i called you like nice to go when you were at some nigga's apartment and nigga i watched your okay so you, you, you know i was even thinking i'm like bro if anytime i ever was doing bad and you called me nigga i ran out of there trying to get home to go talk to you just to be like baby come on you know i love you i'm like like i'm trying Nigga, you stayed there till 7 p.m. It just told me, it was like, bro, you have this woman, she doesn't do about you. You got to get over this. Because she's going on with her life. She wouldn't do these things to you. You're calling her. She doesn't even care to explain. She doesn't even care to whatever. My nigga, you were talking to her. This is what's like hurt, and hurt me the most. You had zero emotion. There's nothing, there's nothing that even says, baby, you know, I love you. You know, like, I, I, I still want to spend my life with you, but like. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in once again on another online disastrous episode of dj academics and his girlfriend and we've seen this story before but it seems like this book will never end as he's continued to still deal with this lady have some type of communication with her as y'all just heard a phone call that she decided to put online for the entire world to see and she also put some text messages with this as well and y'all can look down in those pause it up and go read them online i didn't need to get all the way in to those I heard enough. The fact that I'm hearing the phone call is already the line being crossed again. And she's already crossed this line a thousand times in my mind, the way I stand, the way that I was raised. And this is 2024, as I said before, all capital C's. Confrontation, confusion, conflict, chaos, and clout chasing. And this is exactly what this is, and gotta understand. We here to raise awareness. We here to prepare for the future. And we here to spill the real. This is all on DJ Academics. He did this by choice, not by force. Because once this girl already showed him in the past, hey, I will take your money and leave. I will put out private information. I will take a picture of you with your pants down or whatever in the home that you worked hard to provide for and you take care of me. And I will send that to other men the line has been crossed a thousand times. The fact that I will get into arguments with your mother and be disrespectful towards your mother, the line has been crossed. The fact that I will even do anything to go against you is the line being crossed. So anything from here on out is a choice that you've made because this girl is supposed to have been cut off. And what thing? one thing about respect with women it's really the entire world, but we're going to raise awareness to everybody. This just ain't about him. This is a name to get y'all here because we got to raise awareness on these platforms. Respect is mandatory. Respect is non-negotiable because when you show women especially that you don't respect yourself, they're not going to give you no respect because that's mandatory out the gate. The way a woman knows that she has to respect you is you have those conversations with her. She's going to read the energy. What can I play with? How much leverage do I have? You are already on the grading scale when you deal with the woman. If she come in for whatever reason, she might not already not be respecting you. There's nothing short of nothing. There's no excuses, zero tolerance. Because when you provide and you take care of somebody, they supposed to know. First and foremost, what a lot of women have lost sight of, women are on this earth to serve me. That doesn't mean let me mistreat you. That doesn't mean let me beat you. That doesn't mean let me put you on drill sergeant time. But you need to understand the man is household and I'm never supposed to do anything to mess up the household, to mess up the owner and the provider of me and my well-being. If you go against that, you too stupid 
to even deal with the real man anyways. It is what it is. But when you show she doesn't have to respect you, she can take your money, run off to another city, put your personal business out there, take pictures of you, and compromise in situations where you're uh, exposed and send it to other men and play on you, disrespect you time and time again. She's dealing with other guys. She hears you begging on these phone calls. This is how she going to treat you every single time. See, we have gotten to a point in this world where guys think, not all, but some think, oh, I got the money. I got the, the success. A woman supposed to bow down to me because of that. There's a nigga that ain't got 10% of what you got that have had that same woman respecting everything because they got it out the gate. No matter how much money you got, some women are still going to find a reason to F with a broke nigga. So don't ever think your money, your success, what you got going on in life is the end all or be all. You got to lay down laws. They mandated. They mandatory. But I'm going to tell y'all some real stuff, bro. Women going to treat you how they treat you off of how you treat yourself. If you let her play with you, she's going to say, I can play with this nigga. He don't respect himself. If you let her raise her voice at you, she's going to say, I can raise my voice at this nigga. He don't respect himself. Oh, he's acting like I have negotiation with me being out with other guys or me disrespecting him or crossing him. There's a conversation to be had right there and he's not putting down his foot and laying down the law. Oh, that's that. See, I want to bring the real up. Every man is going to go through things with women in life. We all have. But the level you choose to allow it to go to is on you. You can't stop a woman from crossing. You can't stop a woman from cheating on you. You can't stop a woman from doing you wrong. But what you can stop is allowing it to continue to go on. Because you can cut it off. If you choose to stick around, she's going to treat you like the clown if she already didn't cross that line. And you know what she's going to also do? And get to a point where, nigga, I despise of you because you such a clown. And guess what? I'm just using you, pimping you, finessing you. And the thing is, when you do things like this with women, she got in her head, I cut this nigga off when I want to. He don't even have it in him to cut me off. You think she not going to sleep knowing that? I don't care what they tell you. Pound lips can tell you whatever. And then she peeped the energy. Okay, you this, you that, you get on the internet, you this, and it's for any nigga. Y'all talk this, I seen the other guys going through some stuff with a girl and things like that. Let's get into reality, bro. There's no such thing as a perfect man. There's so much, no such thing as a perfect woman either. But what there is a such thing is, is respect. And if you show a woman, you playing away online, you talk away online, but you don't enforce that in real life, she gonna take you for a joke. It just is what it is, bro. You go on here, you play these characters, you do things like this or that, you gonna have these situations where these women will expose you for what you try to portray. I see the situation with the fresh and fit dude. You know why that's going on? Because he wasn't straightforward, he wasn't honest, and he's playing something else online as opposed to what he's really doing. Because I know the real. You have to go do these things through experience, my nigga. You have to take L's with women. You have to learn lessons. You gonna probably do some women wrong too in your life on your come up and on your journey if you in your 20s and your 30s. You gonna make mistakes, nigga. Ain't nobody perfect. Don't let these dudes get on this internet and tell y'all that they got it all figured out, bro. Nobody got it all figured out. And I don't care how much money you got, how much success you got, how, much, how many women you sleep with, nigga. It's going to always come some problems with that. A lot of women have lost their sight on earth as what they're supposed to be here for, to serve men. We're going to keep it a thousand. But at the same time, if you let a woman to disrespect you, you're most definitely allowing her to say, I'm the man in this. I'm the man in this. You not. Nigga, I tell you what to do. You let her do that a couple times, she's going to really put that in her mind. Like, hey, bro. This nigga's a clown. I can play with him as much as I want to, disrespect him as much as I want to, embarrass and humiliate him as much as I want to. I'll even disrespect his family, which is a no-go. Women ain't never supposed to disrespect or do anything that'll be harmful or insinuate harm towards your mother. He allowed that. The respect is already gone and you will never get it. She just waiting out her time because she know in her mind that you can't cut off. And that's the worst place you can be in. That means you have absolutely no leverage for any man out here. This He's just a talking point to get y'all here. This is about raising awareness, having communication, standing firm as who you are as a man. No amount of money, 
No amount of success, no amount of accomplishment is supposed to be de able to determine that. You're supposed to demand respect with one dollar in your pocket. It just is what it is. Tell me what y'all think. We got more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.